selfie. I was in here trying to get a selfie before the, uh, <laughs> before the intro was done. Because I'm feeling kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? Links Live. I'm back with another hot episode. I'm your host, Dame Links. Remember, love yourself, no exceptions. And uh, running late this week, but you know, better late than never. And never late is better. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Look. I just pulled back up to the DMV and be up here this weekend. I just got up here last night, so that's why the show is a little bit late. You know what I'm saying? But I'm excited. I'm ready to have a good time. I almost didn't do it. I almost didn't do the show. And I'm like, what the fuck was you thinking? Why would you not do the show? So we're going to keep it light. We're going to keep it light. It was a light week for me. You know, got a lot done. While, while I'm thinking about it. Take a second, y'all, and run on over there to YouTube if you're not watching this on YouTube. Run on over there to YouTube and subscribe. I'm on YouTube now. I keep forgetting to mention that, so I said this week I was going to get that off at the beginning of the show. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) Oh, God, I'm doing it already. Look, and if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you run on over to SoundCloud. Because that's where you can get the full audio of the show. You get the mixes, you get the whole energy, you get the full party radio vibe. So make sure y'all are subscribed on both. You know, new episodes every week. I got some music bites for y'all today. We definitely gonna get into some reality. And I got some church announcements for y'all. You know, real light episode, real light episode. So let's kick it off with uh, music bites, all right? New releases this week. Honestly, I really wasn't interested in any of the new releases this week. So I barely checked out any of them. Sam Smith dropped an album, had no clue he was dropping anything. I'm not a big, I'm not, I'm not crazy about Sam Smith. You know what I mean? (laughs) I'm not crazy about him. Um, Chloe dropped a single. Pop Can, an Afrobeats artist, he dropped a single. Um, no, he dropped an album. Pop Can is it Pop Can or Pop Con? I don't know, but Pop Can dropped a dropped an album. Now I did listen to that because I like Afro beats, and that was a solid project. Um, nothing spectacular about it. Little Yachty also dropped a project, and that's one project this week that I wanted to check out, but I didn't get around to it because he dropped it, and I noticed the genre was alternative. So Lil Yachty dropped an alternative album. And from what I've seen all over social media, y'all love it. (laughs) Y'all really love it. So I'm going to listen to that Lil Yachty project. I got to hear that one. Um, But yeah, just I I don't know. I just wasn't interested in the new releases this week. (laughs) I really wasn't. Um, Chloe gave us that single, uh, Pray For It, Pray It Away. And I heard it. I also tried to watch the video, but I didn't like the video. (laughs) <laughs> I just don't like the video. I, I I don't know. I don't know. The song is okay. So, I just hope this isn't a lead single. I think that she said, and I'm not fully confirmed because I didn't see it for myself, that she's going to be dropping her project finally in March. She's giving us singles, several singles, which is really, really good. I've liked majority of the singles. I don't think any of them are bad, but I just like some more than others, which is good because I think that she's taking the time to show us what she can do. Because Chloe's talented. Chloe's Chloe's multifaceted. She can do a lot of different shit. Shout out to Chloe. (laughs) Shout out to Chloe Bailey. Um, But this particular single is not my favorite. I mean, my favorite of the Chloe singles is Surprise. You know, but she's, she's solid. The song was solid. I like the song. I like listening to the song more than I like watching the video. You know? And it just got me to thinking, like, is artist development still a thing? You know? A lot of y'all who really, really know music, especially you guys that are around my age range, you know, artists really, really had to take time to develop. And I think that what I'm seeing now is... These newer artists, these younger artists are being pushed into the forefront, like just all the way up to the forefront. And they're not given an opportunity to really sit back and grow. So that's why I like that Chloe is taking her time. I think that her album is ready. 
You know what I'm saying? I think her album is ready. I think that she has done well building herself as a solo artist because you know there's a whole algorithm with that now when it comes to streaming and all that stuff. Like you have to build an algorithm as a solo artist. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing. So I think that she's doing a good job with putting out the singles. She's consistently put out singles, so it shows that she has material. We've seen her in the studio prior to this, so we know that chloe has got material, but um, I just hope that this particular song is not the lead single for whatever project she's going to give us. But, you know, we still love Chloe. She's cute. I just think that a lot of these newer artists I'm seeing, they're not really given the opportunity to grow into their sound and grow into their craft before we just try to cancel them. You know, like a brand new artist who's in their early 20s should not be being compared to like legendary artists who've got 10 to 15 years in the game. And I feel like that's what happens with a lot of these newer artists. They're not given an opportunity to drop a flop album at first or drop a flop single at first. You know, they're not given the opportunity. They gotta, they gotta, they gotta perform at a high rate right off the bat because we've held them so high up. You know what I mean? <laughs> For real, it's real shit. You know, and and a brand new artist who hasn't had time to even build a catalog shouldn't be compared to someone who is or who has been around for 10, 15 years that has a good catalog, that's done numbers, that's been consistent. Cause that's a lot of pressure on these young people. So I just have an issue with that. I mean, let these newer artists do their thing. Let them make mistakes. You know, look how big Rihanna is. And none of y'all remember that first album from Rihanna. I'm pretty sure y'all don't. <laughs> okay. What else I got on the list? Tours, tour season's coming. Tours have been announced. I'm excited, I love tour season. One thing y'all know, I love a good concert. I really love a good concert. So, a um, couple tours that I'm checking for, Ari Lennox, she's already out. She'll be in Atlanta the end of this month. I'm gonna try and see her. I'm definitely gonna try and see her. All right, Janet's going on tour. I'm definitely seeing Janet. Shout out to Marcus. We going to see Janet. <laughs> I mean, Janet is somebody that I have to see, you know, before I die. I've never seen Janet live. There are certain people that you just have to see at least once live perform. Janet Jackson is one of those. So I've got to see her. K. Michelle, my girl K. Michelle. Now, y'all know one thing about K. Michelle. Anytime she's live around me, I got to see her. Fuck everything y'all got to say about K. Michelle and her personality and all that stuff like that. She puts on a live show. She puts on a good live show, okay? So anytime K. Michelle is here, I got to see her. So we'll be seeing K. Michelle. Definitely be seeing K. Michelle. All right. Then Lil Wayne announced his tour dates. I've seen Wayne twice. Um... I don't know if I want to see him again, but my homegirl John A loves Lil Wayne. So if she wants to go, I'll probably be going. And I'm pretty sure she wants to go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she wants to go. All right. Um, Beyonce, y'all know Beyonce. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna, eh. I'm checking for the Beyonce tour. The dates have been announced. Y'all saw that. I seen y'all going crazy. I seen y'all, you know, talking about it. I didn't even bother looking up the prices. Um, because I'm, I'm more interested in the Drake tour this year. I've seen, I've seen Beyonce every tour. I have not missed her. So I don't, I want to see the Renaissance tour. You know what I'm saying? I know I don't want to see the Renaissance tour in Atlanta. I want to go to another city. I want to make it a thing. Same thing with the Drake tour. When the Drake dates are announced, I want to go see it. I want to go see Drake in Miami. You know what I'm saying? I will say Toronto, but that's a little overzealous. <laughs> Cause y'all know y'all love your boy up there. But um, I want to make those concerts a thing. So I'm more interested in the Drake tour dates than the Renaissance tour dates. So, but what y'all want to see? What concerts y'all looking for? What concerts y'all gonna see this summer? Cause um, I love concert season. So as many shows as I can get into, even if it's in the nosebleeds. 
<laughs> I'm going to be there. I do not mind cheap seats because I just like the feeling of live music, you know? Anyway, let me know. So it's Grammy weekend. The Grammys will be airing this weekend. And um, I don't know if I'm necessarily interested. You know, there's been a lot of discussion about whether or not the Grammys are still important and, you know, whether they're valid. And I had to sit back and ask myself, if I was an artist, would I want a Grammy? Hell yeah! <laughs> I mean, regardless of what y'all keep saying about the Grammys and all that stuff, uh, you know, to not have one is okay, but to have one is an achievement. So I definitely would want a Grammy, but, but what do we need to do to understand the Grammys? You know what I mean? There's a lot of mystique around the Grammy process. You know, like I don't, we, we don't understand how the people are selected. They're just now of, of, of recent years starting to kind of tell us what the Grammy process looks like. But I just found out this week that even to be, to even submit your material to be reviewed by the Grammy board, you have to pay for that. And you also have to pay for tickets to the Grammys, even if you're nominated. You know, and it doesn't, that's not crazy. You know, I expected that, but I think now I'm more so just analyzing the Grammys and their purpose and trying to figure out why they're invalidated in a sense. And I think that we just need more information around the Grammy process. And even as a media person, I would appreciate the Grammys. I'd love to be at the Grammys. That would be an accomplishment for me to be on the red carpet at the Grammys or reviewing all of the events of Grammy weekend. Cause it ends up being a full thing. The Grammy weekend is a, is, is a weekend. It's an industry weekend and it looks like a lot of fun, <clears throat> you know? So I'll be tuning into the Grammys this weekend just to see what's going on. Missy, they honored Missy. Um, there's, you know, of course, leading up to the show, they've got all these different events and galas and so forth and stuff and, and ceremonies and what, what have you. And Missy was honored. Um, I forget the name of the uh, award that they gave her, but it was in reference just to her impact. And you know, Missy's one of our favorite girls, so we respect that. But anyway, we're definitely gonna check out the Grammys. Let me know what y'all think. Is the Grammy important? Is it important for someone to win a Grammy? I think so. It definitely is an accomplishment, but if you don't have one, that also shouldn't be negative. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's it for Music Bites. Let's get into some more music and then we'll be right back with some reality. So make sure you grab your drinks. Hey. 